All right, we're gonna try and make this as quick as possible. We've got a Series D 3x4 Graph Lex SLR, and then my wartime speed graphic. This one's about 1931, this one's obviously wartime. Um, this also will apply later on, even though you see all the, the stuff will look different at its heart, these mechanisms are all just about the same thing. So, I'm not gonna remove this panel and show you the mechanics, but that's what this is right here. A couple cogs and some timing action, etc. Um, if you wanna do the full thing, pull all these screws out, uh, soak this guy in some warm soapy water, uh, dry the living heck out of it, and then apply a little bit of tri-flow inside the gears. Right on this side, you can actually see it'll open up for timing at a point right in there. Anyway, this just gets cruddy and sticky and you don't want to cause more problems with what you got going on. So aside from oiling this up, cleaning it, which is good maintenance, um, the general idea is don't do anything more than you really have to do on one of these cameras. Don't, don't rip into one of these and, and pull all the pieces out and give yourself a bunch more time. Um, at the same time, you can also oil these scrolls up um, from those slots, or you can pull the whole thing out if you really want to go through all the work. I will, however, show you this really quick. And unfortunately, on this Graflex, my pin on my spring right here is kind of seized up, and I can't really get it out. Also, if you're unaware yet. It's easiest to keep track of your screws. Some of these are hand cut. We don't strip things out and just keep them in the same orientation of which whoop, and that one is gone to the gods. Luckily I have more around. So because this pin is seized up what we're trying to do here is add tension to the screw that's inside of this because these are our different things. We have the scroll which is on the outside. There's a spring mechanism inside of there and then this pin goes through the whole length. And you can actually see, I can pull it out of that end. So they're all different things. Don't go farther than you need to go. You don't need to pull this entire piece apart. What all you really need to do is just find out how to sneak as much lube in there as you can, and then just add some tension. So you can if you want, and I'll actually do it right now. I will we'll release a bit of tension on this. And we'll see, let's, zero and well, yeah we we don't have any tension now <laughs> as you can see it's just buckling up there so the idea would be to if you could remove these without having to remove this whole part here it would be to hold <laughs> the pin on the outside and the scroll and then move the inner part of the spring and turn it but on this it's a lot easier to just do it uh, by moving this so we're gonna see, obviously the, the spring wants us to push that way. So we'll just go back a whole ton here. Here, snaking around. All right, that's a little bit of tension. So to check tension on a Graflex, you want to set it at open, the curtain open. Doesn't matter what style, how many shutter or how many apertures you have in this, um, but shutter sp or spring load at the lowest one or whatever the other designation might be um, and then set the curtain at open now we're gonna watch this this drop right here and obviously you see we're, we're not dropping the curtain at the lowest speed um, if everything else is, is lubed up nice on one of these this is the way to tell where your shutter speeds are at if this is running right and everything up is else has been oiled and cleaned nicely you can be sure one thousand is gonna be correct so that obviously didn't do anything so let's keep with our thing here and let's add, let's say just another couple, three, see what happens here. All right. Nothing. Just keep going a little bit. Drop it. Now that is pretty significant. I'm not, I don't really want it to drop that quick. You want a nice confident, it's kind of a, a weird, feel that you get with it, but you want a nice confident close. It shouldn't slack out. Alright, and we can see where we're up here. Let's try one less. 
Now, if you could take the rest of this mechanism apart, there we go, we see it rolling over really slowly, just not enough tension. This is also a sign that I don't have great lube going on, as of doing this weird partial drop at this angle. Means that things are getting a little bar in there. But, either way, for usability, set the curtain there, and we got a nice, a nice curtain drop. We'll just throw one screw back in here, make sure this is closed up. But when you're going to the SLRs, this is just about the exact same thing. Um, on, however, on the one that I use, the pin itself, on these, it, it, you have to depend on that, that spindle being in there and then holding the tension between the two with the screwdriver. Um, on these though, it's a heck of a lot easier to just Spin it around, give it a little bit more tension. All right, so now we got a couple of screws in. Let's see what it looks like on the top shutter tension. Went all the way up to six. Maximum chooch factor, and nice close. We want to make sure we're not going to rip the curtain off. See how she does. I got a nice smooth. On there. She was dripping. And a nice bit of action on there. Otherwise, lube everything you possibly can. That's just about how it goes, and tensioning a shutter is not that hard. It ain't black magic, so just don't remove anything you don't gotta remove and go further than you need to. That's it. Thank you, folks. Merry Christmas.